Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So the question here is, the brother said, I'm healthy, but I cannot fast. Can I pay fidya and whatever it is, or do I still have to fast? It's a tough question, because I know the questioner. <laughs> no, it's not because I know the questioner, because I know the situation of the questioner. It's not like, you know, uh, back home, uh, one of the uncles shared with me a story. He said, he goes to a sheikh, he tells him, sheikh, I have this situation. He said, for you, we have to find a solution. Don't worry. <laughs> That's bad. You, can, you can't do that in Islam. So no, because of the condition. So our elderly. See, in fasting, remember, everybody has to fast. Everyone who's of age. So Islamically speaking, that's 12. Okay? Anyone, 12 plus. It's just very, very elderly who, who think they're healthy. But they try it. But they cannot really keep up with that hunger. And we have evidences for all of them uh, by those people who are living around Rasulullah Sallallahu See, we don't have to make up any of that. Anas ibn Malik when he became very old, so we're coming to that question right now for our uh, elderly uh, senior citizens. They might be physically well. As I said, physically well, but not really capable of fasting. So what Anas used to do, he used to give two hands full of dates. He was not very rich, and that was all he would give per day. Two hands full of dates to feed a needy person or a fasting person and of course needy is usually Muslim so if they are fasting he takes care of them and that's it for all 30 days you do that you calculate it let's say average meal is like five six dollars ten dollars maybe a good decent meal you know ten dollars you multiply that with thirty three hundred mashallah you send three hundred dollars to a, a, a Muslim brother or sister anywhere they're fasting make sure they're miskeen who is miskeen poor Especially those poor who don't ask. Good? Find them. And you know, unfortunately, we have a situation in the Ummah where people are starving to death. So send it to them. Please, and I beg you in the name of Allah, because we have mentioned food here, do not let even a single piece of uh, food or meat or rice or anything be wasted this month. Otherwise, be careful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might punish us as a community. That's a grave sin. You know the word kufran and ni'mah? You know that? That's one of the worst kufr. In being ungrateful. You see, shukr is being grateful to Allah. But when you're not caring about, uh, what food is this? Throw it away. Astaghfirullah. You can't eat it? Feed it some, to someone. Who knows? Your brother might eat another brother hungry or someone. Okay?